What's going on guys? Thrash back here. Welcome back to the channel. You see my Vladimir Tarasenko. They sent them out to everyone who signed up for EA Rewards in North America. And I am super excited to get into this. So what we're going to do guys, I'm going to play five games. I'm going to show you some highlights, see how he does. I'm going to give you my full on player review. This is the card right here. Looks amazing except, except, and I don't know if you guys can tell, the card isn't perfect. The like the background isn't centered with the card, so it's a little bit... It really bothers me. I don't have OCD, but that really bothers me. But either way, we're going to go ahead, get into a couple games. I'm going to record them, and I'll give you my thoughts. Now, the first thing I will tell you, his hands are extremely noticeable. Very, very quick. Everything works now. I was, obviously, the few games I did play with him, I was trying to get him to puck as much as possible, but his hands are unreal, and there's nothing that I can take away from him. His deeks are on point. And if there's anything negative I can say about his hands or his deking ability, is that maybe it's not as quick as, like, Johnny Hockey. But again, he is taller than Johnny Hockey as well, so you have to expect the longer stick is going to be harder to make the deeks. I love him. I love this card. His deking is absolutely my favorite thing about him. But it doesn't mean that he is a perfect card. Now, I do have some positives and negatives to say about him. Um, as you're going to see here, his, he's always in the right position, it seems would be one thing that I could uh, always say. As a lot of the goals he scored for me, he was just standing there wide open or, you know, whatever. It didn't seem like he had a crazy shot. And no matter how many times I gave him the puck to shoot it and give him this crazy shot and this awesome opportunity, he did not hit the net. Instead, it was his deeks and his ability to be wide open that created lots of chances and lots of goals for the team. Now, he did great in the very first two games that I had with them. Then it kind of slowed down a bit. But let's move on. So, hands, check. Skating, unreal. Probably the fastest card I've ever used. Check. Shot, eh, not great. How is his physicality? Pretty good. Um, easy to knock off the puck. Sometimes, other times, it seemed like he was a rock. The best way for me to put it is that it's very inconsistent. It's a very inconsistent card. Sometimes, he'll get hit by, say, someone like Paul Bijanet, and he doesn't move. Then Johnny Hockey will come in, and I'm, I'm going to use Johnny Hockey a bit here, but he checks him. And he's off the puck. So, I don't know. His defense was very, very good. And, honestly, he was actually really good on the faceoffs. He had to take some draws for us. But in the end, I really just don't know how I feel about the card. In five games, he had seven points. But, he had six points in his first two games. So, definitely some inconsistency coming from this card. Now, I absolutely love it. He's extremely fast, obviously. And, I mean, there's not much I can say that's bad. Just sometimes when he's wide open, he won't hit the net. Sometimes he's easy to knock off the puck. I don't know. It's very strange. Now, he's not my least favorite player in the world, obviously. I mean, 97 overall team of the year. He's going to be on my team. But I don't know if I'm going to give him first line minutes over someone else who I know is going to be producing. We played some pretty tough guys. We played somebody who's in the top 50 for competitive. But that doesn't mean anything. Like, if he's out there and he has a chance, he should bury it and he just didn't. Um, honestly, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. His skating is unreal. When it's on, his shot is perfect. His hands are awesome. He can check, but he's easy to knock off the puck. And surprisingly, his defense is actually pretty solid. Uh, the most disappointing thing I will say about Vladimir Tarasenko is his passing. I just found that his passing was always a little bit off. Now, he did make a couple of nice passes, don't get me wrong. But for the most part, it could have been tape to tape. And instead, it's hitting the skate or going right by somebody. So, 7 out of 10 seems pretty fair for Vladimir Tarasenko. Now, that's going to be it for the video. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Now, if you do have any uh, suggestions on anything or want to see any more uh, player reviews or anything like that, let me know. And what do you think of the Vladimir Tarasenko? Did I just get it wrong? Do I not play with him right? I don't know. I feel like he got 6 points in 2 games. I'm loving him. Then 1 point in this next 3. I just feel like, uh, I don't know. Maybe he's just inconsistent. Because, I mean, the one game... We scored 13 goals. He had one point. He had one point. I don't know, guys. It just seems fishy to me. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.